All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning. Handling a few cars out of a very nice collection up here. We're upside indoors where it's a little bit breezy outside. Anyway, 1959 Ford Ranchero, Resto Mod Custom, really cool, a lot of horsepower underneath the hood. We're gonna walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Finished in a uh, colonial white with quite a bit of pearl in it. I would call it a pearl white. Bottom side is along the burgundy lines and it's candy and has a nice metallic. I believe it has some pearl in it there also. It's uh, resting on Boyd Connington. Uh, I don't I forget to call it, uh, what they call those wheels, but uh, I'll think of it when I uh, write the ad or look them up. But 20 inches front and rear. Professional style restoration that has uh, all show chrome bumpers and chrome plating work. The trim on the back here is very nice. See all the Ranchero trim. There's a build book that comes with it right here. These are rear compartments that are both power. We'll have a little segment of that for you. We'll get inside and cover quite a bit. It's got a $12,000 audio system in it. Chrome dashboard here. Again, we'll get into the driver's side. We'll cover that for you. So that's where some of the custom stuff comes in. Uh, underneath the hood here, very nice. Uh, uh, Rouse Racing 300, 342R engine in it. Full roller, dart cylinder heads, 460 horsepower. Tremec 5 speed. Detroit True Track rear differential posi. Uh, 370 or so ratio. Uh, again, we'll have all the specs at Spud's Garage for you. Just a menacing looking car, or Ranchero, or Ute. You can see how dark the finish gets here in the shade where there's not a lot of light. You can pick up the reflections on it. Out back, up front here, it has a fat man, fully independent front suspension, rack and pinion power steering, fully adjustable coilovers. It has four wheel disc brakes, wheel wood disc brakes on all four corners with polished calipers. I believe 12's in the rear, 13's up front. See the polished caliper right there. Pick up some of the metallic in the paint though. You can see the pearl with my light on it, my LED. Same thing in the uh, paint and the fender over here. Nice uh, dual fender mount mirrors on it. Step back and let you take a look here. Well, there's some light in the background, but it gives you a different perspective on color. Inside custom interior, uh, the back here, on the back it has uh, airbags in the rear so you can tail drag it if you want, that kind of thing. So a little bit of the custom feel. Or raise it up to take a load, whatever you want to do. It's got a uh, huge stereo system and it will actually do a, uh, a video here for you of that. And it has the same finish on the speaker panels, you can see the uh, Finish there, it has a really custom built uh, waterfall style. Uh, feeds into the console here with LED lighting. Switches there, open the compartments in the rear, their hydraulic lifts. Again, full console, air conditioning, uh, ultra leather, two tone ultra leather bucket seats that are power, both sides. Power switches right there. High end. Uh, carpet on it it's all been covered and protected you'll see the finish in the door jams here all the polished stainless hardware in the door jam and catch the pearl there Fairlane 500 on the dash again a lot of chrome on the dash there headliners finished the same way so this is like I talked about an ultra leather very soft uh, easy to care for Custom door panels on it here. Two-tone follows through into the door jam, both sides of the door jam, three sides of the door jams. To this angle, I know the light's a little bit tough. Cover the bed for you. The bed, uh, the bed sides have the pearl, so even underneath the hood, all matches uh, the exterior body of the car, the upper color surfaces, and then the beds, uh, rhino lined and then finished in body color. There's a uh, book there that kind of goes through the specs of it uh, from the builder of the Ranchero. Open the tailgate there for you. 
chrome plate at the hinges, that type of thing. You can see where they used uh, Allen hardware. All the show cro quality chrome here. Again, make sure if you're serious centered, hang on, hang on to the old video, the whole video. We cover all the way. We'll have it up on a lift for you here. Re reverse lights come on when you put it in reverse. A few video segments of that. Don't see many of these Rancheros like this. Cool rig. Fuel fill right there, factory. It's got a uh, custom fuel tank in the back. I believe it's the stainless. Again, same thing this side. Same interior, ultra leather, custom. Nice scalloping here, kind of neat. Kind of looks like shark gills. Data tag here, up underneath the dash, nicely done. Modernized wiring harness. Again, dual, pa uh, dual uh, power seats, uh, manual reclines on them. Has an I did it, polished tilt, tilt steering column. A Boyd Connington uh, steering wheel that matches the wheels on it. Just can't think of the name as I'm going around here. Stealth, I think maybe the wheels would be called. Get a feel there. It has a custom uh, Roush built uh, classic instruments cluster on it. 240 some miles since it was build. built. AC controls are right there. Factory style. Audio control heads here. We're going to go ahead and fire it up here for you. have a clutch safety switch that's nice very healthy as a uh, long shifter on it fuel gauge is working a little bit low on the fuel it's got an air pressure gauge for the air tank in the back I believe volt gauge uh, oil temperature I mean oil pressure is right around 50 pounds and we haven't really warmed it up yet third signal LEDs there nice little indicators here tells out where the uh, horsepower underneath the hood uh, 342R 079 is what it says on the valve cover here basically a 30, uh, 302 base stroked stroke to I believe 342 cubic inches uh, horsepower on it is rated at uh, 460 horsepower has a Tremec 5 speed transmission in it has a uh, Detroit two tra uh, true track helical posi track rear differential I'll get all that out this morning Anyway, uh, custom belt, like we talked about, has a uh, all aluminum radiator in it, has a B Cool twin electric uh, cooling fans on it that are spall fans, basically is what those are. Has a serpentine belt drive system right up here up front, polished. Nice install. They've set the engine back a little bit in it, um, like two, three inches. They called it a weight transfer situation just to move the weight towards the center of the car. It has Willwood disc brakes on it. You see the steering, the heim joints, all that stuff here. The uh, polished stainless tubular control arms, fat man up front here. All the finish follows through. This pearl, white pearl goes through. A lot of chrome plate. There's uh, chrome and stainless in here. There's chrome plated hood latch here. You'll see the uh, AC and heat lines for the vintage air or vintage style air. Go through there and you can see the tubular control arms. 
braided lines for the fuel pressure regulator. It has nitrous. Again, rated at 460 horsepower. I don't believe that's with the nitrous on, and this owner's never tested it. Holly four bell carburetor, Edelbrock uh, air gap style intake manifold, BBK ceramic coated long tube headers on it, dual exhaust underneath. We'll get it up on the lift for you. Has power rack and pinion steering. You'll see the track, uh, the uh, uh, rack down here. has a uh, remote or relocates the oil filter from the side over here so you get some more room that brings it up here. I believe that's a motorsport component that you can buy. I'll actually fire it up here for you. Here's a NOS injection valve right here. We'll get into more specs at Spud's Garage. We just want to share the basics as we're here. A lot, again, a lot of polish, stainless, braided lines. That type of thing. Starts right up there. Talk about healthy. Fun to drive. Rev it up a little bit for me, Rob. We promised we'd cover the audio system here. We can't unfortunately play the sound because of YouTube copyright issues, but uh, we're going to share the sound system. We may grab a beat out of it or something like that. Uh, these are uh, Diamond Auto Techn Audio Technology speakers. All the way through here. Rockford Tweets here. Everything's encapsulated in this uh, custom-built uh, speaker compartment here. It's got, uh, there's a little micro switch on the dash here that flips on the stereo lights. The control head's right here. Give you a little bit of a sound there anyway. We're going to share the bed here with you. Same finish follows down to the side bed sides here. Very nice. Has the same finish on the bed here on the underside of the car. So it's body color, uh, uh, kind of a lizard, uh, lizard skin hard coating like a, a rhino liner, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to have him raise these decks so we can share what's underneath the decks. They're both power. Okay, we'll get up here front. Up front here in this compartment, you're going to find the uh, air tank for the uh, rear, uh, stepped off the lift there. Uh, you can find the air tank for the rear air shocks in the back or air ride in the rear, all the controls. There's a battery here. Uh, it has a huge audio system, which we've already talked about. This is a power ca uh, capacitor for the uh, audio system here, 20 volt. 24 volt surge. So it has the power control. So a smooth deck on the top has the, uh, like it would have been on the, so they reverse the deck here. Custom, uh, Rear compartment for the nitrous. This is a body off frame rotisserie style restoration, modernization on this one. Very cool. Uh, they finished it in a uh, lizard skin style or hard coating and then finished it a body color on the bottom side of it. The chassis all been powder coated in a gray hammer finish. Here's the uh, fuel pump back here that leads from the tank. New fuel tank. Get to the back here. Slide this out of the way. Has uh, four wheel, di uh, wheel wood disc brakes on it. 
Uh, we'll get up to the front and share that. Drilled slotted rotors. rotors. These are uh, 12 inch rotors in the back and then the polished calipers. Has custom uh, four bar suspension in the rear here. Fully adjustable. Has uh, airbags in the back. So you can adjust it right to left however you like. You can see the hammer finish on the chassis. Has emergency brakes. A lot of braided line usage as far as the fuel lines go in the back here and some of the airlines. Has a dry shaft safe dry shaft safety loop. Exhaust is all custom. Looks like it's been uh, I was trying to move that lift thing back there. Uh, looks like about three inch here from the uh, crossover back. Drops down here just to the uh, tail of the mufflers. You've already heard it run by now. Has a uh, nice battery jump point here, jump point there. You can see up in the wheelhouses all the work that was done. These are uh, Flowmaster mufflers on it. Emergency brake cables all come together right there. Again, four wheel disc. We're getting up front here. Has a uh, Tremec five speed transmission that we talked about during the walk around. We'll get out and go around the sides, uh, cover the rockers and stuff for you as we go here. Long tube headers, um, all ceramic coated. Little baby bump here. Brake proportioning valve. Up front here it has a 12 inch Willwood rotors uh, drilled and slotted with polished calipers on it. Fat Man front suspension has tubular control arms. Uh, co adjustable coilovers up front. Custom modified to accept the Roush engine, the uh, Fat Man front cross member. up into the wheelhouses finish the same way with that hard coat and you'll see that the uh, white pearl from the exterior body line ends right here with the uh, coating so your the firewall itself is all finished body color base coat clear coat style pearl white the rear end ratio I forgot to cover that for you is a 373 in the rear has uh, Rack and pinion power, rack and pinion steering, fat man front clip that's been custom modified to accept the Roush engine. Fat man front clip was uh, grafted here. Appears to be nicely done, a very professional braided brake lines. See the bottom side of the engine. They, uh, According to the build sheet, they set the engine back for weight transfer to have a little bit weight, more weight towards the center of the car. Full tire size is a 275-40ZR20 in the rear. There is a touch-up door ding right there on the door. A few little minor, you really can't even see it. You won't see it outside, you won't see it anywhere, but up high here I'm noticing a couple small imperfections on the left rear quarter. There's a small ding on this uh, trim here, here and here on the left front fender. Mm -hmm. 